with the gravest information concerning our republic, not just in my lifetime, but probably in the history of this country. We've seen some amazingly positive things happen in the last month or so. But we've also seen the nastiness of the special interest, the big corporations and foreign banks that have basically reverse colonized this country with globalism and who have put us deep into debt, spread racial division, and overall just really divided this country. The CIA's job is to overthrow countries and install dictators. It is a criminal organization established in 1947. Their official job is to lie. It's undoubtedly the most corrupt agency in our government. General Flynn, the former head of defense intelligence, is one of the main advisors to Trump. He warned Trump of what the CIA was doing to undermine this country. The CIA has been caught shipping in narcotics. Everybody knows this. The big news here is we knew the Democrats were going to try to steal this election. They did it back during the primaries. They did it to Bernie Sanders. They tried it with Trump, but he fought. Then they tried to steal it on election night. And Beth Harris, other election fraud experts are very clear that, and she's a liberal, she's a Democrat, that five states were stolen for Hillary. When they had recounts in a bunch of states for Trump, he gained votes, didn't lose them. There was fraud against Trump. And now, we see Nancy Pelosi's daughter herself organizing 10 electors, a Democrat electing the electors, a Democrat going out and recruiting supposed Republican electors that have pledged themselves for the votes of people that voted for Trump. And they're saying they, quote, want a CIA briefing about the supposed Russian hacking so they can give their votes to Hillary Clinton or forfeit them. Now, the Democrats across the country got their electors in before the voting process even took place. And I'm going to go over some of the rules for you here in a moment. But this is really happening. They mean business. That's why they're out there pushing all of this propaganda. And it is so painful for me to see this happening to our country because this is what you see in third world nations. We've never had anything like this happen before. This is unprecedented. And to have the CIA involved domestically with discredited, debunked, reports that the Russians were involved in our elections is incredible. The CIA now represents the foreign multinationals that have hijacked this country. And before I go over this shocking new developments tonight, I want to tell viewers something. It's a fact that the communist Chinese dumped tons of illegal money into the DNC and into Hillary. It's a fact they wrote op-eds in their own papers and then had stories published in the United States threatening the American people to not elect Trump or they'd stop buying our treasury bills. They own $3 trillion. It's a fact that Saudi Arabians dumped massive amounts of money in and have threatened the United States and Trump, that the Pope's been involved, that the EU's come out and said censor the alt-right media. This is all happening. Hillary got over $2.5 billion. Trump only raised 400 and something million, almost all of it from grassroots. None of the big special interest. And now it's Trump versus the CIA. Talk about anti-establishment. And all he's trying to do is make America great again, not make us part of this global system and sell us out to China. It isn't Russia that's infiltrated us. They're collapsing under the globalists as well. That's why we have shared interest. But that's not Russian influence. The Brits are under attack too. They're pulling out. The Italians are pulling out of the Euro. This is a global corporate tyranny in their own words. And now, in one movement alone, Nancy Pelosi's daughter is an elector and is demanding that there be briefings. And she's gotten Republican electors to join her and is now involved in a nationwide campaign. She's already got 10. She doesn't have to get much more than that, and the election is forfeit. 
And that means a new election that Bob Bear and the CIA and others are calling for. And it was all scripted. It starts out in the last few weeks like it's grassroots. They have recounts. It doesn't work. The Democrats fund Jill Stein. That fails. So now they come out and say, oh my gosh, the Russians, in a secret report that's political from Obama. Now remember, the same CIA put out reports about yellow cake uranium and, and anthrax in Iraq in 2003 and got caught lying as well. So they have all these sub-offices in the Pentagon, in the CIA, and then the other 14 or so intelligence agencies where you could go get analysts who are political to say the moon is made of Swiss cheese. And I'm going to go over a special report Paul filed that's in HD at InfoWars.com, but we're going to show it to you here in the interest of having it on the record. Very powerful. Where he goes over and debunks it all. We're going to show you that in one moment. But understand something. When George Bush stole the election from Gore, I didn't like Gore. I didn't really like Bush either. But I was more leaning towards Republicans because they were pro-gun, at least on the surface. But Bev Harris and others put forward the evidence that it was fraud. And I said, yeah, it's fraud. And I've always been for exposing it. And Bernie Sanders didn't like Sanders, but he was better than Hillary. He really won all those states. They admit that. Stanford University did a study. They stole that. This is about integrity. And now to say the Russians are involved with no real proof but a secret report, when the communist Chinese, the Pope, the Saudi Arabians, everybody else gave money to their foundation, money to the DNC through U.S. subsidiaries, it's admittedly illegal, but they controlled the Justice Department, the Democrats did, so they were allowed to do it. Half her money, it's reported, came from foreign questionable sources. Hell, they take money into their campaign directly from foreign leaders. They don't care. Foreign influence, it's come out in the WikiLeaks. They were running every major network in the country and threatening them. Mika Brzezinski on Morning Joe came out Friday and said, we would barely criticize Hillary and we we're supporters. We'd have our jobs threatened, she'd call up or they'd call up our bosses at NBC. Corporate meddling, foreign meddling international banking meddling, and then the Russians who can barely keep their country together under attack by the very same George Soros that is running all of this. They claim they hacked the election and, and, and somehow stole it for Trump. Even though states have come out and said it's weird. Homeland Security was here on election night demanding to break into our computers and we didn't let them because they didn't have warrants. They tried to steal this, folks, but they failed. And now, here's the big question. What kind of civil unrest do you think there's going to be if they try to actually take this from Trump, and he and this is all on the heels of him bringing back sixty billion dollars of jobs just with ten billion steel deal, fifty billion dollar high tech deal from Japan just next year alone, carrier coming back that's on top of the sixty billion, not multiple Ford plants now. Do you understand globalism is a one sided deal where we were sold out? But there's this Stockholm Syndrome by Democrat and Republican establishment people and their minions where you just don't get it. You think it's cool now to have the CIA that the left's always known was super bad news. You're like, yay, CIA, yay, CIA. What is your damn problem? I know people that worked in clandestine operations for the CIA. And you know what happens when you hit about 60 years old? They kill your ass. And I know Blackwater guys, everybody else say, oh, no, that's the word. That's why they all leave the country at around 55. That's what working for the CIA is all about, getting killed when you hit retirement. That's how dishonorable and evil this crap is. That's why it's the biggest insult out there when snot noses on the Internet say, I'm the CIA. What a freaking joke. I'm America. I'm organic. I'm independent. You'll never take away the fact that my success has been mine and my listeners supporting us. Don't you ever compare me to that criminal organization. And how dare all of you that are now flouncing around doing this. You know what? But if America goes along with this, we deserve whatever happens to us. My God, the globals are getting ready to implode the economy. And now that Trump's in there announcing they're going to raise interest rates, which he doesn't want, to stall the economy. And the general public, the Democrats will go, oh, look, he added a trillion to the stock market, but then it plunged. Because they're planning two weeks before his inauguration to massively increase interest rates. A small one would be reasonable. No, they want a big one. They admit it's to sabotage them. That's how arrogant these people are. Now let's go over some of these articles. Anti-Trump, false flag, rogue CIA globalist left attempt to overthrow Trump. Now that's our article. That's from this morning. 
I'm going to go to the Electoral College for a little bit later and break down the dates and what matters. On the 19th, they'll have the meeting, but we won't know exactly what happened there at that time. Then, on December 28th, the deadline for all the ballots coming in at the state level to the federal will be in. And then on January 6th, counting of the ballots, the U.S. Congress meets in joint session to count the electoral votes. January 6th is the key date. But they're going to be fighting this whole time for destabilization. The January 20th, Inauguration Day. But you look at this key date, 28th and the 6th. The 19th is important as well. That's just six days away. Okay, let's continue. Here's a video from July 30th where I say, will Obama cancel the election to stop Trump, or will he steal it if Trump gets elected? And now you see it happening, Infowars.com. Now, let's get to this next little jewel. Trump calls Obama a very good man after a historic White House meeting. He said, okay, I'll leave Hillary alone. I'll be nice. You guys just play nice. This isn't a political party you're fighting. This is a complete and total globalist takeover we're witnessing. Buckley back on here with the Facebook mentions. <clears throat> Okay, electoral college voters want to know whether Russia meddled in election. No, it's I saw that face and I thought that looks like Nancy Pelosi. Then I noticed it's Christine Pelosi and I said, is that Nancy Pelosi's daughter? Holy Toledo, she's the one leading the nationwide movement. Nancy Pelosi's daughter of House Democratic leader Nancy Pelosi. Oh, that's not political at all. Isn't that just special? Look at these people. Her mother went into Congress worth about a half million dollars. She's worth 400 mil now, last time I checked. <laughs> Let's continue. Oh, but she's of the people. Clinton campaign backs intelligence briefing for electoral college electors. Oh, an intelligence briefing from some splinter group of the CIA known to lie who won't give their evidence to anybody. Oh, and here's the guy they keep calling a kook and a nut who reorganized the Pentagon, who reorganized special forces, who got the best intelligence, who's seen as a total genius, General Flynn, the rock star of the military, of the army, who's been warning of the CIA trying to destabilize things, and now Trump's mistrust of CIA echoes views of top advisor. That's today. Flynn was right the whole time. So they keep calling him a kook, a nut, a weirdo. In all these articles, oh, he says Hillary was behind ISIS, and ISIS is really Al-Qaeda. Same group, same flag, admitted, admitted for four years. But they just talk to you like you're dumb and go, Flynn's crazy. He says he was ordered by Obama to back ISIS and Al-Qaeda. Obama's come out and said that he wasn't given briefings by defense intelligence. He said that this weekend. But it's on record. They gave the briefings, and Flynn went public two years ago when Obama removed him and said it. But they know you don't know about that. You don't know the different agencies. So they just sit there and talk to you like you're an idiot and say this patriot, Flynn, who said our country is on its deathbed. This is Lexington and Concord. He said that in speeches. We've been taken over by globalists who are anti-Christian, anti-America, who want total control in their own words. They go, oh, Flynn's a kook. He believes there's a thing called Agenda 21 that openly wants to get rid of the families. That's official. They're getting rid of the words mother and father in school. This is a total takeover. So continuing. Here's Paul Watson's extremely powerful video. And I'm going to give Buckley a break for five minutes and play this and give him a chance to uh, relax his arm while he hand holds the camera. But Paul wrote this, the truth about Russia hacking the election. This is the best debunking yet. And I'm going to give this to you right now. I'm going to play this for you right now. And then I'm going to get back to the most important areas uh, of Intel straight ahead on the other side uh, of this video because this is history happening. This is so over the top. I don't have words to describe this to anybody. This is so incredibly important. Get this out to everyone. Folks, I know you can't believe it could happen here. This is CNN admits that they plan to launch a, quote, national emergency out of this. Soros has doubled the amount he's given to, to groups to start fires and kill cops and everything else. I mean, this is escalating fast. Here's Paul Watson for InfoWars.com. The post-election riots failed. The death threats against electoral college members failed. Jill Stein's recount failed. Your entire fake news narrative failed. And now this. Individuals connected to the Russian government reportedly provided WikiLeaks with hacked emails as part of a wider Russian operation to boost Trump and hurt Clinton's chances. The left is willing to risk civil war in America and nuclear war with Russia because they're butthurt about losing. Let that sink in. Not a single shred 
of evidence has been presented to support the claim that Russia hacked the election. Former UK Ambassador Craig Murray met the DNC leaker and said he was not Russian. He was a disgruntled insider. Julian Assange said all along that the source was not Russia. The Clinton camp has been able to project a kind of neo-McCarthyist hysteria uh, that Russia is responsible for everything. That's false. So who do you trust? WikiLeaks, an organisation with impeccable credibility that has never put a foot wrong. Or anonymous CIA sources whose entire job description is based on deception. And who are these CIA sources? They can't tell us. But they're undoubtedly the same agenda-driven Democrat sympathisers who are already under Inspector General investigation. The transition put out a statement that essentially humiliated uh, the CIA. No, it's not the whole CIA saying this. And Trump isn't impugning the whole CIA when he says that this story is total BS. These anonymous CIA sources claim that Russia hacked the RNC as well, but only released negative information about the DNC. Yeah, one problem with that, the FBI investigated and found no evidence for it. The RNC was not hacked. The RNC was absolutely not hacked, number one. We had the FBI in the RNC. We've been working with the FBI. Why? We've had intelligence Let me ask experts you. here. Wait, hang on. Me, no, 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 hang what? on, Chuck. No, no. The, the RNC was, why you not, had no, the FBI was not hacked. The RNC offered conclusive proof to the New York Times that they weren't hacked. And the New York Times ignored it. So the intelligence is wrong. It didn't happen. We offered the New York Times conclusive proof that it didn't happen. They refused to look at that. They ignored it because it didn't fit the narrative. The FBI also investigated any Russian links to Donald Trump and found none whatsoever. You have zero evidence. Even the Washington Post admits that this is all inconclusive. There's also zero evidence that the Russians hacked John Podesta's emails. Can you look right into the camera and say, I know for a fact the government of Vladimir Putin was behind the hacks of John Podesta's emails? Absolutely. Email. The government of Vladimir Putin was behind the hacks of our institution and the dumping of, of information. Of John Podesta's emails. Not only in the of United John Podesta's States, email. but also in Europe. Okay, you're uh, not, you know what, you're not. And, and, and Tucker, <laughs> no, you, look and you say, are, I know they did. John Podesta's emails, and I, they hacked and those. And I think that uh, Ronald Reagan will be rolling. One last time, Congressman. Look in the camera and say they hacked John Podesta's emails. We know for a fact that Putin's government did that. You can't, and you know you can't, and you're hiding behind I, I, weasel words. I, I, I just said that the, say they Russians, hacked John Podesta's the emails. Russians, I'm not going to be specific as to Oh, because you don't know it. That's why. All right. Uh, Done. One. The left is now conspiring with rogue elements of the CIA to initiate an internal coup within the United States and overthrow a democratically elected president. Let that sink in. They're trying to manipulate electoral college members to not cast their votes for Trump on December 19th. Top Democrats are already saying that electors should reconsider their votes in light of this story. They could also pressure members of the House and Senate to object to the electoral vote on January 6th, when a normally routine counting process could be turned into an anti-Trump filibuster. Obama is demanding an official report be submitted on all this before January 20th, the day of Trump's inauguration. Who will be heading up that report? James Clapper, the Director of National Intelligence who lied under oath in front of Congress and the American people. Because he's really trustworthy, right? Just like the CIA, or elements of it, who suddenly became paragons of honesty after being bashed by the left for decades as liars and deceivers on an industrial scale. Yes, the CIA has a long history of lies and overthrowing democratic governments, but that doesn't mean they're lying about Trump. Yes, the CIA lied about everything else, but this one thing I agree with them on, so they must be right. It was the left who screamed bloody murder about Operation Mockingbird, a CIA program to hijack the US media to spread CIA propaganda. Now those same leftists are gleefully regurgitating CIA propaganda as if it's gospel. Give me a break. I can't believe we're seeing the same thing we saw post-Brexit. Calls for a second vote. If the evidence is there, I don't see any other way than to, to vote again. When will you people accept defeat? Now demented never Trumpers like Louise Mensch are calling for Obama to bomb Russia.
This is insane. They're calling for Obama to declare a state of emergency to cancel the election result. And isn't it funny how all you Democrats who cry over foreign influence had no objection whatsoever to Saudi Arabia bankrolling Hillary's campaign. You had no problem taking all that George Soros money, did you? You had no problem with the Obama State Department overthrowing the government of Ukraine. You had no problem with Obama interfering in the UK's referendum on leaving the EU and to see the same prostitutes who prostrated themselves for Hillary now trying to take the moral high ground is sickening. Now Russia is being accused of spearheading a campaign to cost Angela Merkel the election in Germany. So either Russia has suddenly launched a coordinated effort to sabotage Western democratic elections, or the unpopular leaders of those countries have suddenly launched a coordinated propaganda campaign to blame Russia for absolutely everything to distract voters from their own failed policies. Which do you think is more likely to be true? Now, people are asking me what channel that is. That's one of our auxiliary channels. There's the Alex Jones channel. That's Prison Planet Live that Paul Watson heads up. Ladies and gentlemen, they're calling for a civil emergency. They're calling for a national emergency. They're calling for Obama to suspend the election on major newspapers and on major Democratic Party websites. And they're doing it with a secret CIA report and I have clips of Democratic Congress people saying, we want to see it, but they won't let us. I mean, let's say Russia was somehow involved, which there's no evidence of. There were all these foreign governments and the Saudis and the Chinese flooding money to the Democrats. I, I, I'm sorry, i got to say something. I mean, I, the, the irony that is so lost on everybody is what they're saying is, oh, the Russians broke into our server and released emails about us doing dastardly, illegal, horrible things. So it must be they terrible. Did. Like, they're exposing their lot. All the terrible stuff that came out in those Podesta emails was all about taking money. It was all about blackmail. It was all about influence. It was all about influence in the, uh, uh, the media. It was all sickening. It was all sickening. And they're saying, oh, no. If, even if it were true, what they're saying is that Russia broke into our emails exactly. and exposed all of our dirty, dirty laundry. So we should be, we should be in control. We should get the presidency now. Now, right? <laughs> you know, I mean, I love how you boil that down because I get into all the technicals and all the facts and the background. It's ridiculous. But I mean, that's really it. They're criminals with all this proven criminality. They should all go to jail. But now they're cornered rats. And so they're saying the Russians took over with no evidence. And the president, that slimy piece of crap that's deindustrialized this country and done everything he can to shut us down, to bring Americans to heal, bitter clingers, while transferring all of our wealth out of the country and, and, and violating our laws, is sitting there. And they're saying, oh, you're Ruskies, and the alt-right are Ruskies. Uh oh and I love some of the trolls on InfoWars, because we've been getting flooded with them going, Jones claims there's a move to censorship. I thought your website would be down this week, Alex. We said they're blocking us on Google Chrome. They're kicking Breitbart off its iPhone apps. Uh, they are blocking us on public transit systems in Europe. They're blocking us at libraries here. They put us in databases uh, they're not letting Facebook share our links on Pizzagate. None of our stuff can get shared on Reddit. It's shadow banned. I go on for 10 hours. They're naming us. Hillary's named us. Obama's named us. The Daily Show attacks us. But there's these trolls, because I don't put on airs. And I come here and warn you as a fellow American that go, oh, yeah, no one visits your site. No one's trying to censor you. Nothing's going on. Everything's fine when they're calling for it. Do you, uh, I mean, well, good, shut Alex down. It's all of us down. It's the end of the damn First Amendment, people. Unbelievable stuff's happening. Did I just, if you just tuned in, it's all over the news that Nancy Pelosi's daughter is leading delegates nationwide. She's got a bunch of them, Republican delegates, to say they're not voting for Trump and they're going to basically forfeit it because it doesn't go to Hillary. But if he goes down enough, Hillary gets in and they're readying Hillary. And she says, yes, we've joined this. She's preparing to be president. Do you have any idea how explosive this will be? This is civil war, and they're calling for it. They're hopping mad. They're pissed. They've got some mental illness about bankrupting this country and totally taking it over. But again, this is what we've got to get out to everybody. Yes, they got hacked by whoever 
intelligence groups have come out and said that it's U.S. intelligence leaking it. I know personally, I've had Secret Service and others leak stuff to us. It wasn't the Russians. But it gets worse than that. They are now saying that, yes, you got our criminal material, so because of that, the election's forfeited. Changing the subject, as Buckley just said. This is so crazy. And then all the lies about Trump, the weak-minded out there believe it, so they don't care what's done to stop Trump. They have no idea. So I want to get a comment from Buckley on this. We're going to end this transmission. I'm going to do one more uh, 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 breakdown video on some other subjects after this. But let me tell you something, folks. This is deadly serious, Okay. We're in a very epic time. They're trying to start wars with Russia. They've turned radical Muslims loose with the Arab Spring funded by George Soros and Google. The New World Order's moving people and all over the world from Spain to the UK uh, to, to, to Russia uh, to uh, Brazil to, to Italy last week. People are pulling out of globalism. So they're panicking. They admit they're in trouble. And this is their fleeing forward. This is a very dangerous time. And we live in the lap of luxury and freedom and don't know how much danger we're all in. All right, so this probably isn't the whole reason, but this is one thing that I think, is that Donald Trump is playing nice right now. He's playing possum. He's just kind of waiting until he gets in, inaugurated, right? And, and they're smart. And, they know that he's got to go on offense. And when he does, when he gets in office, he is going to lock her up. And all of them, they're all going to prison. They're not going to nice little where a nice little... That's city. why he's putting they're generals... They're going to this kind of prison. That's why they're putting generals in to get ready. They yeah. know. Yeah. And that's so, why there's I'm telling you, I'm telling you, he didn't sell out and they know it. And then they're they're not going to I don't know what they're planning. And that's why they're scared. That's why they're not just doubling, tri tripling, quadrupling down. I have never I remember I've seen so many elections and there's hanging chads. There's always some controversy. There's always people that are upset in the end. This is a hundred times any previous. I have never, ever, ever seen them go after the electors, go after the electors and try to influence them. I have never seen it. This is as far as it's ever gone in my lifetime. And I'm 42 years old. So I think they're scared. I think they're deathly afraid that if they can't flip this thing, and this is their last gasp attempt, that if they can't flip this thing, that not only are they going to prison, but probably even worse things are going to happen to them. And, you know, we haven't, we haven't hung anybody for sedition in a long time, but let me tell you, it, may, it might be time to do that now. I mean, well, this is well, getting ridiculous. Well, well, well absolutely. I mean, these are, look, let me tell you something. When Obama, three years ago, our reporters went out of the border and broke it, had emergency managers in, um, major cities, uh, talk to our reporters and say, no, we're ordered to load the illegals on buses, and most of them are adults, and we give them money, and they're shipped wherever they want to go to the Democratic Party. And then, that, and then that made national news. And then we talked to Border Patrol this year on tape. They're in such rebellion against Obama, even though he threatens them. And they said, we're ordered to let people in with leprosy. You heard me, leprosy's back all over the country. It eats your flesh off. Uh, TB. Drug immune TB, uh, just you name it. And they, and, and they go, well, those are illegals, leave them alone. They don't even treat them when they find out they're sick. They just let them in. You understand how crazy that is of Obama? You realize what total maniacs we're dealing with here? So, so Buckley's absolutely right. In fact, I'm going to write some notes, and I'm going to go do a condensed, like, three-minute video. I'm going to just, 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 just try, to, try to get myself focused because... This is so damn real, people. I've studied history. Most of the world's always in turmoil. Our country's been very, very special. We're going downhill like a snowball headed for hell. And here's the good news. I played a clip on the Sunday show from the Army-Navy game on Saturday where it showed Obama at the Army-Navy game and nobody would cheer him, nobody would talk to him. And then you cut to Trump, it's like a rock star. They hardly have the game. Everybody loved him so much. And I'm not kissing the ass of the military and the police, but the globals want to use them to enforce the tyranny. That's why I used to buy into the propaganda that was all anti-police and military as if they were the government. No, that's who the government hates because they do the hanging. That, we've got problems, but, but we've got to reform them. They demonize the military and police because they plan on basically having a nine of the long knives type situation and trying to take them over and purge them and use that as the oppression arm. But the globalists are inherently criminals, so they hate law enforcement. They hate peace officers. And it is the police and military that are more awake. I'd say 90% of the military... 70% of the cops, even in leftist jurisdictions. So push is coming to shove is what I'm telling you. We're not the ones doing all this. I mean, they are destabilizing the whole country. They're calling for cop killing. These people are crazy. And they overthrew Ukraine three years ago with anti-cop riots that started. I mean, they mean business, folks. Soros and Obama and Hillary are ruthless crooks.
They made a deal with Trump that night because of the landslide victory and because they were told more stuff was going to be released from WikiLeaks if they didn't, basically. But then they were just playing possum, waiting, and they can't help it with the chutzpah and the bravada and the hubris. They're back with a passion, and this is a major crisis time. I'll be on the radio tomorrow, 11 a.m. Central, Infowars.com forward slash show. But, I mean... I, I can't believe more people aren't freaking out because they're like, oh, they'll never do that with electors. Oh, they're just dreaming. Oh, yeah, they're not going to try that. That'd be too destabilizing. That'd cause a civil war. That's the point. Now, this video is important, but the shorter one, Paul Watson, is very important. The Truth About Russia Hacking the Election. It's on Infowars.com. You can find it on our YouTube at Prison Planet Live. But whatever you do, they waited because they knew that everybody was piqued by the election, awake, involved, informed. The liberty movement was energized. If they tried to steal it, there would have been an explosion. And they know they would have lost. They wanted to wait till we went to sleep, go into the holidays. This is all psychological warfare. They've got their algorithms till traffic on the internet went, went way down, till political stuff got quiet, till we were asleep. And their people all were just waiting. And Michael Moore came out last week and said, I told you he was going to win. Now I'm telling you he's not taking office. Something's going to happen. And he smiled. He's seeing that something now. And they want to discredit it enough so they can start trying to block it and at least move towards impeachment once he gets in. But I believe if they're going this far as having the CIA challenge the newly elected president in front of God and the world, they're looking at assassinating Trump. They want to discredit him first. You see, racism didn't work anymore, calling everybody racist or that homophobes. Like, what the hell are you talking about? So now they call us Russian agents. When they get the money from the Chinese and everybody else, remember that. They openly got money from China and Saudi Arabia. The Chinese openly lectured us. On we can't have Trump. Foreign involvement open. But uh, there's a secret report of uh, the Russians did it. I, mean, I guess the Russians have animated me to be on air like eight hours a day. I guess, you know, oh, here, you know, let me, here, oh, Putin, you know, Putin's calling. Me, give me a freaking break, man. Can't even speak ten words of Russian. What does Russia have in common? They kicked the same central banks out. All came out in court in England. The Rothschilds sued Five years ago, a couple of newspapers were saying that, that Putin had arrested a bunch of oligarchs that were really fronts for the Rothschilds, and they were the ones that ran the Bolshevik Revolution and the takeover. They sued them, and at the end of the year-long, off and on, you know, trial, the because you know, it went for like a year, off and on, different parts of it, because uh, the judge would say, "Come back with this information. Come back with that information." They had a bunch of hearings. The judge said, "This has proven what the people said about you. You are the kingpins. You are running it." So all over the world, we want the big banks off our back. Just, we're not your property. You're not God. You don't own us, okay? Understand that. Infowars.com forward slash show. Please spread that link to everybody. Uh, we did a big petition. Over 100,000 people total signed it. We're going to print them up, del hand deliver it. It'll um, cost like a thousand bucks to deliver it to Trump Tower, you know, to have a, you know, a, you know, a press covering it, like all these petitions being rolled in in front of all that media. Uh, wanting uh, Trump to do something about the attacks on free press. He must go on the offensive. The next video I cut, I'm going to take a rest. In about 10 minutes, I'm going to go live again. I'm going to recap this in like two minutes and then spend three minutes on what Trump must do. I'm going to get totally focused, get ready, spread the links. When I come up live in about 10 minutes, right here on Facebook, and spread this link to everybody you know. It's up to you. You're the resistance of every race, color, and creed. Let's come together for our electoral process and for the election and not let the foreign globalist hijack this nation. I'm Alex Jones.